My name is Michael White. Uh, this morning I'm going to speak regarding some, uh, thank you Kevin, research that the National Restaurant Association recently did around operator views and consumer opinions on new technology in restaurants. There are quite a few charts in here, so I apologize. I'm going to get through some of them quickly. So if you have any other questions, please see me afterward or email me at mwhite.restaurant.org. Uh, restaurants and adopting technology stay within your orbit. So I'm kind of throwing up a yellow flag here as far as what we need to caution ourselves with as we're moving forward in technology. Oops. The big one? Perfect. <laughs> Traditionally, the restaurant industry has really been a slow adopter with our uh, options in technology. Right now, we're transitioning. There's a plethora of options coming to the market, and we're really unsure of which ones we should go with. Uh, my presentation is going to focus on customer-facing technology, and we really need cultural and strategic alignment to make that implementation a success. All right. The good news is that 75% of operators believe that technology can offer a competitive advantage with nine, in ten, with 9 of 10 of the chain and franchisee operators driving that percentage. Again, three quarters of operators believe that technology can drive more money to the bottom line, and this is really both back of the house and front of the house focused. As we look more into uh, where we are at technology, chain and restaurant operators, two-thirds believe that they've hit the mainstream or are actually at the leading edge of technology, with independent operators still lagging, mostly because of infrastructure and capital requirements. When we are looking at technology, the main focus for operators really has been that customer-facing technology. We've previously invested in back of house, and some systems control technology. But again, the capital requirements are really what's holding operators back from pushing that technology forward. As we all know, labor is a big line item on our P&Ls. Restaurants and eating and drinking places produce one-tenth of the sales per full-time employee that gasoline service stations do. Now, gasoline and service stations have uh, had pay-at-the-pump, self-automated payment processes for a while now. There's another industry which really from the 1960s has been pushing self-service operations. And that's the banking industry. Automated teller machines have been around since the 1970s. Citibank really put, it, put them on the map in the late 1970s. And you might say this is a leap to go from restaurants to the banking industry. However, in Chicago, for those of you who have seen the cupcake ATMs, really? These are fresh baked goods that I can get without interacting with anyone. All right? It kind of leads me to the uh, a fun cartoon from my childhood. So I'll throw this up there. Time. I'm sorry, Mom. Hey, maybe I should be punished and kept home from school, huh? Hmm? Huh? Oh, no, you don't. What would you like for breakfast? The usual. The usual coming up. Milk? Cereal? Crunchy or silent? Better make it silent. And some bacon. Bacon. And one soft-boiled egg. And one soft-boiled egg. Thanks, Mom. Thank goodness that's a... So I hope everyone's familiar with the Jetsons. And again, maybe a bit of a stretch, but as we heard in Dr. Hampton's talk yesterday, we're producing hamburgers with stem cells from cows. And you see people trying to utilize 3D printers to actually produce food. All right, but consumers do see technology as the future, really across a variety of age groups. Right? The 18 to 34-year-old segment 50% or more are utilizing pay-at-the-table technology, where that's in the single digits at the 65 and plus age. 
They're looking for technology. They're, they see that it's out there. Two-thirds of consumers see that it's a trend moving forward, and almost everyone believes in the future it will be a, a daily business. They do see the benefits, obviously. Four out of five believe that it can increase the convenience, and 70% believe that it will increase their speed of service and their accuracy when they order. I want to share a little story that I have, which kind of highlights the caution as we move into this. Uh, this spring, I had the opportunity to go to a conference in Las Vegas. It was one of those where we had to fly in late the night before, got in about 9 o'clock at night, uh, and there were a ton of other business people that were in line ahead of me, about 10 deep for the two desk agents that they had. Off to the side, I saw kiosks, and I, I'm here for a technology conference. I should try and go to utilize them. <laughs> so I go over to the kiosk, start entering my information. Everything's going well. I pull out my credit card for the incidentals and room charge, swipe it, card read error. All right, nothing new, flip the card, swipe again, card read error. Uh-oh. So now I go and start doing the old, you know, on your pants leg trick, and I hear from over at the desk, sir, are you having a problem? Uh, nope, just my card. I'm good. Try it again. Sir, if you're having a problem, you can come back in line. It's like, um, she's talking to me, because I'm the only one at the desks here. And so I try it one more time. She's like, sir, please come back in line. We'll get you taken care of. So I hung my head. <laughs> now there's 20 people that have seen this technology fail. So I'm like, okay, now I'll just, you know, wait in line and, you know, okay, I understand. Now again, this is probably an isolated incident, but there is a trend um, both in hotels and restaurants where a staggering statistic that more than a third of consumers have found it more complex to actually engage with technology in restaurants and has made their guest experience worse. Still some good news though. Nearly half of consumers believe that it is more fun uh, having technology in restaurants and a third could see utilizing social media and mobile um, reservations as a driving choice for getting them to come out. Some hotel and lodging trends, 17.5% are using kiosk and check-in and pay uh, and pay at checkout. 21% um, are using their mobile phones for both bookings and payment. Just in closing, the independent operators continue to lag in technology adoption. The 18 to 34 year old segment is by far the ones that are driving the highest acceptance of restaurant technology. Operators do see the benefit of providing technology and in increasing the efficiency of their operations and making it a profitable business. The word of caution being a third of consumers really believe that technology creates the complexity in their dining out options. So really, the issue is we need to be able to provide purpose, culture, and strategic alignment around our technology that fits with our operations and with our team members, utilizing the technology as a tool and not just replacing the, the service experience. So again, I want to thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And we're moving on. Thank you.